but an Ostrom 5 is a fundamental piece for, for our research. So to create models that are able to model the entire Earth and simulate what the climate's going to be in like five, ten years or even decades, uh, we need to have power machine, powerful machines like this. So in our group we do research on how machine learning or artificial intelligence can be used to mitigate the impacts that climate change has on our planet and society. We collaborate with different institutions across Europe to develop a digital twin of the Earth. With this digital twin, we're going to be able to monitor and simulate natural phenomena and ha hazards and how the human activities can be related to these events. So in our group specifically, we work with different projects. So for example, how can we use machine learning to improve these models that simulate the climate? Or how can we improve the predictions of extreme events like heat waves and droughts that unfortunately have been happening more often uh, year by year? Or we are also looking on how can we incorporate all this scientific knowledge that we have about climate and environment into technology like large language models such as ChatGPT that everybody knows now. So we can create that, a model like this that is specialized in climate. I believe it's important for us to understand what's going to happen with our planet and how the climate is going to change so we can act to adapt and mitigate how these effects are going to play on us. And for this, we need to have powerful models that um, demonstrate that, right? So to be able to run all these models, we need to have supercomputers.